All right, everyone. Hello and welcome back to the Cup Chasers podcast. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening. Um, yeah. Well, speaking of shocks, the Tottenham Hotspur travel to the coast to play the Cherries. Um, Up the Cherries. The Bournemouth Cherries, yeah. Um, that is the 7.30 game on, on Saturday, so that's the early kickoff. Not sure how many people are getting up to watch Tottenham at 7.30 a.m. But I don't sleep, so I will definitely be uh, <laughs> tuning in for that one. Um, man, I really wanted to pick a draw on this one. Like, really wanted to pick a draw. I couldn't do it. Spurs have just been too good recently, and I hate saying that. I'm just, I'm not excited about it. Um, but yeah, I think that They'll probably boss this game. Basuma again. Madison's out, so that's interesting. Madison won't be playing in this game. Um, it's not long term, so he'll be back soon. But uh, I heard from a Tottenham fan on YouTube, tap in Tobes on the Big Six, that says Lacelso might be coming in for Madison. Um, and Dombele is still there as well, so it might be him, but. Uh, he said that Lo Celso was playing in preseason uh, behind, you know, after James Madison was subbed out. So might be interesting uh, personnel-wise uh, from old uh, Boss to Coglu. Um, but uh, I got Spurs winning this one 2-1. Even though it's at Bournemouth, uh, I just think it's still fresh. You know, it's still fresh to the players. Um, and Bournemouth isn't really the team that's going to, you know, smack you in the mouth and, and, right. and make you, you know, give you a, a struggle and a real test to, a, you know, to your tactics and a, of, your, of your faith in the tactics, you know what I'm saying? Um, but I do think Bournemouth have a goal in them. So, uh, yeah, 2-1 to the Tottenham Hotspurs, unfortunately. Yeah, I think this is, um, you know, I almost kind of feel bad for the, for them because Tottenham are really kind of going through this and I hate to say it like this but they seem to be going through this rebranding or this refining and I've of an identity for sure. for sure um better than us I mean I get it, ownership changes big top to bottom but to lose an important player to lose the heart and soul of your team not really miss a beat they haven't shown like they haven't they're not playing as if they're missing Harry Kane of course they are you know, I don't plus, Dekoglu gonna... never played with Kane, so he's not missing. Yeah. He's not right, exactly. Um, which is a yeah, that's a huge point. Like you know, it's from a managerial perspective, that's you know, didn't have the tool, never use it. Don't worry about it. Um, I just kind of feel bad for him because I feel like I feel like they're on a momentum. They have this kind of they they won a cup, so now they're they're back in it. They're they they're gonna perform this season. Um, I just feel bad for him. I think it's gonna be about three zero. I think, I think Liverpool. You feel bad for Bournemouth, you're saying? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, right. I do feel bad for them because they're going to catch a resurging Tottenham, and they're going to come off that Man United game feeling like they just won. That's been oh, huge. they are. Oh, right. they are. If you've, the if fans you've seen any the hype, of, yeah, it's, it's any the, of the Spurs fans on socials. Oh they're, yeah, they're hype for sure. Well, yeah, it was the first time they beat United, and like, it's just. Well, I remember a six-one not too long ago. Was, yeah, 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 yeah. That was pretty crazy. But I think Bournemouth are gonna they're they're gonna be like more open than normal, especially at home. They're gonna be playing a little bit more confidence under this new guy. Um, I just don't think they have Irola, Irul, Iriola, Iriola. I don't know. I do not know how to say the man's last name. Uh, to be honest, I'll, I'll have to tune into this one and see if they pronounce it for me. They so give it to I us. Get his name right. <laughs> but he's got them playing more open. Um, yes, not necessarily going to be a low block, so it actually might be a fun game to watch. I, I've, you wouldn't have said that last season. No, I wouldn't be. Or right. Spurs would have been dreadful last season. <sighs> yeah, like it'll said, probably I, be a better game this this year, though. Yeah. What do you I think, think Patrick? Or yeah. did you give a score X? Yeah, two zero. Two zero. Two zero. To the Spurs. So three zero. I want to say it's three, but I don't. I don't think they have three in them. Charleston's not going to score, so it's going to be up to somebody else. So, and like you said, 
Yeah, old boy's not playing right now, so I don't know who's going to be. Is Son going to? He's got to step it up, man. He's got the armband, I mean. Got the armband. <laughs> what do you think, Patrick? So, uh, I agree. Um, Spurs are flying high. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Um, like, I, don't know, I really don't know how I feel about it. Um, it's about how everybody's feeling about Spurs right now. It's like, a, so, at least they said so Man United is the new Spurs, not us. If they would have said we were the new Spurs, I would have been seriously upset. But that, that title's gone to United, so I'm okay That's right gone now. To I'm okay right now. Um, no, I'm just perplexed. Uh, you know, I, I got to give, was it Pascu? Pasta Say with me. Pasta Coglu. Pasta Coglu. Oh, Pasta Coglu. Okay. Pasta Coglu. All right. I got to give him credit. Baby. Hey, Brago. Uh, Let's get it. <laughs> Just call him Big Ange. Just say Big, Big Ange. Ange. There we go. There we go. No, um, I, I got to give him credit. You know, he uh, he's got a system. That system's working, even though he really doesn't have a, a true target man. Um. His midfield's playing really, really well. His defense has actually been pretty good, too. Um, I do think Bournemouth actually get a goal. Um, they're, a little, they're a little helter-skelter, uh, just from what I saw against Liverpool when it comes to kind of pushing things. And, and they like to win the second ball, too, um, and play off. So um, I do think they'll have a couple ch- – they'll have a few chances. I'm going to give them a goal, but I'm going to give Spurs three. So 3-1 three, Spurs. And it's so confusing. <laughs> it is. To be picking, picking Tottenham wins is a weird feeling. This is not, this is not fun. <laughs> what you think, Lewis? Well, I'm not picking the Tottenham win. So um, I think for the reasons uh, that you all listed. So the high of beating Manchester United mm. and the his greatest team. club to ever play. Ever to even t- t- greatest club to ever come to your mind when you think about race oh, us with their yeah. If you think about golf clubs, you'll think about Manchester United, <laughs> and so because of that, I think one of the things that matters is I think it'll be big. Spurs are still Spurs, and I think the players are still the players. So that you know, there's a there's a ride in the high. All guys who've played ball knows after you beat somebody you you weren't supposed to beat. And you you should never beat them there. It, it does something to you where you're like, yeah. And then they happen to be going on the road again. And so I think uh, um, in this case, lightning will will not strike twice. I think that um, the game will be open. I think it'll be a draw. And I think it'll be a 2-2 draw. And I think that's because uh, I think Spurs will just – United will still be in their head. And they'll be like, yeah, we're supposed to walk this. And that's enough for a messy like two to two pass to get sent over mm-hmm. the top beautifully, giving them credit for that, right? Yeah, it was it was pretty sweet. So, so Lewis, with that, uh, I do have a question, though. Do you feel like Tottenham's going – so, essentially, Tottenham's going to play down into the chair? Like, do you think that they're going to get wrapped up into that, like we talk about all the time with the Prem, like how teams play down into their opponent? No, it's it's like, for example, the euphoria. It's like I think I because see. you're going to be so high, you're going to have lapses where you miss something. Mm, I and, see. And, and, and the thing about it is, is if you have lapses at home, I don't think it really makes that same uh, that same effect. Mm-hmm. So if they were if they were in London and they just they went home after beating United, I would have picked them four nil. Again. <laughs> yeah, but they're on the road. And I just think because they're on the road. And you have to travel twice. I just think there's something to a team saying, "Oh, so you beat United? Let's let's see what we can do at home." I just think it raises the bar for some other people. And I think sometimes you start losing the focus because, I mean, what's what Spurs target? Like, I mean, people are like, "Okay, well, you know, Spurs, where are they going to finish?" Not like no one seriously, even them included, it was thinking like top four or anything like that. Oh, no, no. So. You know, if 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 that I think what it does is beating United clouds it because even though we who have our feet on the ground know United are they're who they are, beating them at home doesn't have the same effect. If this was Sir Alex Ferguson's team, 
and beating them at home. That meant something. Be, right. be, this, this team that's disjointed, dejected, and brought back Johnny Evans, you know, I had to put that one in there, right? Um, <laughs> I think that calls. Well, we'll get there. We'll get to United. Yeah, we'll get to United. They still, got, they still got the devil on their their chest, though. I mean, on their you know, I on their jersey. You know, it's still United. I mean, well, I mean, if that was the case, and this is not a shot at y'all, uh, you're still Chelsea, and that does that's not enough to win. Well, no, game. but what I'm but what are I'm we though, Lewis? Play teams. No, but are we said the badge on the shirt. I mean, if we're play going up, that, that, that's not enough to get that badge on the shirt. I'm just saying it's not enough. No, we, we they're mercenaries these days, now. man. They're mercenaries. All both of us Castle, are mercenaries. Newcastle are punching people in the face. Arsenal walk around with all the swagger in the world as they should. And City of all teams is is on the top of the world, which we don't know how long it'll take. But as a City fan, you know, we we support it. But um I think when Pep's gone, I, y'all are gonna Sir Alex Ferguson set the mold for what's gonna happen in the city. Well, you know, the funny thing about it is, is that that would also be incorrect. We're not talking about City, but quick caveat to that. The people who put Barcelona in place when Pep left were the same guys at City who had two consecutive managers who were solid. And, you know, rest his soul, if um the first manager who passed away, was it Tata or... Um, no, uh, no. Um, his first manager died of cancer, though. The first guy yeah. who Pep died of cancer. Mm. Huh. And so if he if he doesn't pass away... You still have another one because Enrique followed that. So City will be fine because you're going to keep the same people running the show. And if we're going to compare United, the people that ran United when Alex Ferguson left are still running the team now. And this is why I'm saying that that win at United is not the win at United anymore. And so this Spurs team can be different. But because there's no real expectations, I think, going on the road – I don't think they lose. I, I don't think that. But I think it'll be a draw, and it'll be because of you, – you just get overconfidence. It, it's like, you know, I kissed the girl that I wasn't supposed to kiss, and then you all of a sudden walk into a pole. You know, it's, I think it's one of those. Nice. Right. <laughs> well, I was going to say to your comment about, you know, lapses at home compared to lapses on the road, at home – it doesn't affect the momentum like it does on the road. If you have a lapse on the road, that stadium's going crazy, you know, and then you're up against it. So I get what you're saying. I just, I mean, I came away last week actually impressed with Bournemouth just because of how they attacked them in the beginning, even though they lost. Um, But I think that, that Spurs are... I think everybody's still trying to figure them out in, in terms of not only fans, but the league itself. Um, and I think that they're going to kind of catch some people early on. And then as we get further into the season, it will kind of calm down. Um, so I don't think that Bournemouth catches them here, but I mean, I, I get what you're saying and uh, there's, there's a lot of truth in it, but I just, I went through one because I don't I don't know if Bournemouth can stop Spurs right now and that that's a little frustrating. But they did pretty well against Liverpool. They only gave up 3 when everybody thought they would score like 9. So oh, was it 4? It, it wasn't was, 4. It was four. Was it 4? I had it right here. Yep, it was 4. Nope, it was oh. 3. You're right. Yeah, I had 4 one because I was like, oh, it was come three. On. No, you're right. It was 3. It was 3. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah. So Anyway, segues are weird. Since we've been uh, discussing old Manchester United, we might as well take a look at uh, Forrest traveling to Old Trafford. And, Sorry, they're uh, going to catch the wrong end of some revenge, baby. I'm so... No. <laughs> yes. Who's catching the wrong end of revenge? Oh, Forrest. Not... Yeah, they're, they're getting punched in the face. They're going to get no punched way. in the face. Not a chance. Not a chance. Oh, yeah. Did you watch United? Have you watched United this oh, season? Oh, I've watched, yeah. I've watched Nottingham, too. <laughs> yeah. Have you? Have you really? I, I, you watched their victory over Sheffield, and you watched them give us trouble in the last 30 minutes of the of the game. And, well, you, we, and you think they're going to get slapped. On That's, That's all yeah. I'm going to say. I do. I huh? Do. I, I, do. I think they're going to get slapped. I mean, yeah, I only think two new. I mean, that's my that, that's a United slap now. I don't think that they're going to get slapped at all. Same here. 
I think, uh, in fact, I'll go ahead and tell you, I've got a 1-1 one, one draw. I don't think that United can break down low blocks. I think you're right. Anthony's been terrible. Sancho's been terrible. Rashford needs space to run into. There will not be space. There will, there will not be space. Who's going to Who's going to score? Casemiro from outside the box. Yeah. Bruno. <laughs> Bruno gonna, getting a red card. Bruno's be too Bruno busy. getting a red card. He He's going to be too busy screaming box. at the ref. Getting Bruno's going to be too busy screaming at the ref. Uh, Mason Mount is going to be a ghost again because that's what he does best. He's Man. injured, actually. He's, He's injured. injured. Yeah. He's out He's for injured. the next So he won't even be on the field. A true ghost. Plant. Yeah. You know? Um, and so, yeah, I just think he took that... a page straight out of Roman's book, man. Planted Kai, planted Mount. Roman. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, that's old. straight up. You've sabotaged a number of your rivals this a season. A number of our rivals. That's well played. <laughs> um, so I think that Forrest are going to be too compact. They've defended well both games they've played. Um, they showed that they can score. They showed that uh, even their bench is decent. Chris Wood come on and got the winner against Sheffield uh, as far, you know. So I think that um, they'll be up for this one. And I think United right now are uh, in a bad way, man. I don't think Hoyland will be playing yet. Um Luke Shaw's just gone down injured. Um, he won't be playing. So it'll be Malasia and Juan Basaka. Um, Anthony Alanga might get it get a start on a return to Old Trafford. Uh, might have something to prove. Uh, but, yeah, I just think that, you know, Ten Hag wants to play counterattacking ball. That's what he does. So when the other team is going to give them the ball, like Forrest will, Mm-hmm. they showed that they were not great. And the only reason I didn't have them losing this game is because of the Old Trafford effect. It's true. Old, Old Trafford won't let them lose. The, re- the refs won't let them lose. What, whatever the juju, the black magic they got going on at Old Trafford won't let them lose. But, yeah, I think that uh, Forrest are going to uh, – they're going to they're shock a couple people. With this draw here, um, I would love that. I would, I would, I would, as I would love that. Who's, I mean, who's going to score for United? It's a great question. They've had one goal on the season. It's going to have to be against the Wolves. It's going to be a, a, a Raf of a ran corner kick head a header off a corner kick. Like, there's not going to be space. There will not be space. There won't be space. Anthony Anthony's a fidget spinner that couldn't take on a cone. Sancho is giving the ball away, or no, Garna- will it be Garnacho? Garnacho is giving the ball away literally every time he's touched it this season. It, it, it's 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 a shambles, and I'm excited. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. So that's why I've got uh, I've got a you know a good performance being put in by Steve Cooper's men. One one draw. Mm. So it's oh. now considered that Mason Mount may actually be out for six weeks. Oof. Plant, love it. Probably He's best. got a hamstring injury. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> that is awful, man. Chelsea I think he had the, the surgery. In. Uh, you know, he sat the rest of the season to have surgery so he wouldn't have hamstring issues. Mm. Mm. I thought it was knee. No, I'm pretty sure it was hamstring. It's all connected. It's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, so you still think United are going to slap him, huh? I do. I think they're going to go win 2-0, 3-0. 2-0 is going to be on prediction because they're at home. Like I said, they're not going to lose. They're not going to lose this game. They're not no, going to lose this game. Lose. And I don't think that they're going to get scored on because they're, because they're going to be playing so deep. And the United is just going to have chance after chance after chance after chance. Yeah, but uh, my man, I won ye. He's exactly, my man, I won ye. I mean, Luke Shaw, if Luke Shaw has... has if, Sure, Luke shot. I mean, they lost the game, but there were players who played well in that game. I mean, Luke is it Shaw had himself a game. Huh? Are we, Luke Shaw will be out, dude. Are we thinking Erickson will come in to deputize for Mount? Like, who's going to come? Is it going to be McTominay? <laughs> going to get run. I mean, they'll get run on those on these counters because Casemiro 
Well, I mean, that's what I'm saying because Mount didn't play any defense. No, and so Casemiro was just getting run by versus Spurs. He's just getting passed because he's, you know, uh, he needs help. Walker. He just right. he just needs help in there. And so if McTominay plays, it might not be as bad. He'll be a little bit more defensive. Um, if Erickson plays, it'll be as bad. It'll yeah, Erickson can't cover that ground. So, so they need to score goals, so they're gonna have to have somebody that can that can create. I mean, they lost Val Veghorst, so yeah, I know, right? They're ten. Their 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 creative maestro is going. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I don't know. That's why I'm. That's why I got serious doubts on this one. What's your score, Patrick? What you think? I'm going for the shock of the week. 2-1 Forest. Love it. Love it. I will tell you that. I think that. they're in shambles. I really do. Uh, you know, I you they couldn't they pretty much couldn't score against Wolves. They couldn't they score against the Spurs. Wolves. I mean, I'm not saying that, that Forest no, is they deserve to lose all by any means. But where where's it going to come from? I mean, I I just don't I don't see it. A Bruno Pen, you know, uh, Awanyi he's gonna be he's gonna be a problem in the box. I mean, I know you got Veron, I know you got um, uh, the butcher. Who? Martinez the butcher. Yeah, the butcher. Um, but I I think he gets one. And I think that that um, I think that uh, um, uh, Kale, um they get one on the counter as well on like a like a set piece because I I do expect there to be some uh, well what's his name Brennan Johnson I think mm-hmm. uh, he's pretty quick mm-hmm. um, Gibbs White Gibbs White too um, you know I think. Uh, I think they get one on a, on a counter off of like a set piece, um, and I just I, I'll give United a goal because they're at home, but I don't know where it's going to come from. What do you think, Lewis? I think it's two nil. I just think they're at home, and they're they they should be better than their opposition. It 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 I put it like this and. Uh, If they lose, I know Patrick said he didn't pick them to lose either, but I think Patrick put it in the universe, so I'll just follow up with it. If they lose, Ten Hag is in some serious trouble. Really? Serious trouble. Yeah, there's no way you lose. I mean, they haven't lost the game. The natives are getting unrestless for sure. No, it's lost the game at home since Brighton on the first day last season. It's He's in some some trouble because they 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 if they lose they I mean they already look directionless. So to lose this game, you you that's the management at this point. I mean, I, I that seems. I mean, it's the manager anyways, but it's still too new. You that know, sounds seems, like uh, Hoyland might actually make his debut this weekend. Huh. Yeah, so maybe that's where they get a goal. I just they're gonna need it. I mean, there were people that were that were frustrated and very vocal about Ten Hog before they won their their little cup, um, and then everybody was like, "Oh, we're gonna win it <laughs> with the quad." <laughs> oh man! But I mean, I just I don't know where I don't know where the scoring comes from. You know, Rashford did it last year, but I mean, he was he was on a burner. And he was doing a game like this, though. This game does not suit him. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Because they'll play a low block. Just like I worry about Chelsea break, breaking down a low block. I don't see how United breaks one down. Um, and I think that, that, truthfully, when it comes to attackers, I think right now, Forrest is at least even, if not better, at least at the nine, than United. Yeah. I mean, I haven't seen Hoyland yet, but... Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, well, uh, all righty then. Predictions are in uh, match week excited. three looms. I'm excited. Uh, and uh, if you're as excited as we are, go ahead and smash up the likes. Uh, we are on our way to 100 subscribers. Uh, come on, guys. We got 98 
followers on let's Instagram. Go. Let's go. Let's get that up let's on go. YouTube as well. Hit that subscribe button. Uh, go ahead and hit the little bell as well so you know when all of the episodes are dropping. Thanks for being here. Thanks for listening, and have a great night. Tell your friends and family. <laughs> Please do. <laughs>